Hi, this is Frank Taylor with coming to you with Nature in Your Backyard. And today I'm in my backyard and I've been following what you might find if you go outside in your backyard or your neighborhood or a local park. So as we've seen in some of my other uh, videos, there's a lot of things coming active at this time of the year. We saw newts and tadpoles and various species of insects. And today, one of the uh, organisms that overwintered as an adult and has just come out now that you might encounter is called a, a leaf-footed bug. Leaf-footed bugs are true bugs. Now, when I say a bug, a lot of people, when they say a bug, they mean anything that's creeping and crawling around. It might be an insect or not. But a bug is actually a true category in entomology, or the study of insects. There are categories called moths, butterflies, beetles, and bugs. And a bug is a category just like moths and beetles and butterflies are a category of insects. What do all bugs have? Bugs have a beak, sometimes called a proboscis or a rostrum, but what they all have in common is a beak. And the bug I'm going to show you today is called the leaf-footed bug. And I'll show you why it's called the leaf-footed bug, and we're going to see some pretty interesting things about the biology of leaf-footed bugs. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. Never, uh, and there's a make this invasive. There's a dog. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes of terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. So here is my bug that I found and he's called a leaf-footed bug because if you look back on his hind legs, do you see how they're wider at that one point and it almost looks like a leaf. And on some of these species of leaf bugs, that uh, part of their hind legs is really, really wide. This one's wide, but not, not too, not really impressively wide. Um, all of a sudden he's very, very active. Let me see if I can move around so you can see the markings on his back. And you can see that um, his back looks almost like a sheet, is sort of shield shaped and has a, a markings on the edge um, that make it really distinctive. Now, if you look at his head, he looks like he almost has a neck. And uh, when I first found him, I thought he might be an assassin bug. So in the family uh, that this guy is in, um, there's assassin bugs, there's bed bugs, um, that all of them have a proboscis and uh, can bite. These ones um, eat leaves. And let me turn him over, and you can see that his proboscis is very, very long. So he feeds on plants by piercing them with that long proboscis that he has. And he has it a little bit extended right now. You see how it almost looks like a leg? And he's got it extended out in front of him. And now he just collapsed it back against his body. So he holds that right underneath his body. And it's a long proboscis. It reaches back to this, almost the second segment um, on his abdomen. You can see that right there. Sharp pointed, starts at his head, all the way back to that second segment. I hope you enjoyed watching today's segment of Nature in Your Backyard and seeing and learning about leaf-footed bugs. You never know what you're going to find when you go outside. And right now I've been trying to show you the things that you're probably going to encounter as spring unfolds. And the adults of the leaf-footed 
bugs are just coming out now. They, this species of insect overwinters as an adult and now that the leaves are coming out on the trees again, it's coming out to feed on leaves and probably find a mate and lay eggs and reproduce. Thank you for watching uh, Nature in Your Backyard. Let's see what we find tomorrow.